Hi, today I'm going to be teaching you how to change um, the stoves that are Max's Match to work in a university so your Sims can cook without having to eat with a microwave and you don't get the um, little explanation points since stoves aren't allowed on ovens. The first thing you're going to want to do is install Sims 4 Studio on your computer. If you don't have Sims 4 Stu Studio, um, you, you can get their website here and you want to get download and install Sims 4 Studio. And you want to choose the one that you have. So if you have an iMac, you would want to get Candy Apple. And if you have a window, you would get Wishes. So you would download that and you'd install it and you have to log in to um, Sims 4 Studio to do so. But it is free. After you do that, you're going to want to install and load Sims 4 Studio. Once you've um, installed and loaded Sims 4 Studio, you want to go to uh, create an object, and it's going to be <clears throat> a standalone recolor would be fine. Um, and you just want to click that, and it's going to load all the items that are in the game. You'll see there's a couple stoves here, but you can also search, and you can hit stove to get all the ones in the game. All right, and you want to select a stove that you want to edit. So we'll just pick this first stove here. Once you select it by clicking it, it'll turn blue. You want to hit next. All right, and they're gonna ask you how you want to save it and where. You just want to pick any file. All right, and you want to call it anything you want. So let's say uni stove. All right, and we will save. It's gonna load up the oven. Now once it comes up, you'll see the this is your, your stove. So you've got your catalog description, the yummy cooker with its price. Then you click on this little button here and you'll show the texture section. This is if you're recoloring it, you would go here. If you wanted to edit the mesh, you would go here. And then to change the stove to make it functional for university, we're going to go to the tags section. All right, down here, you would see in appliances, it says stove is marked, okay? And you're going to unclick this, and then you want to click small appliance so it shows up in your game, and you want to click microwave. All right. Now you want to make sure you click apply to all swatches so it changes all swatches that you have up here. All right. So you click apply to all swatches. It's going to ask you to confirm. Click yes, and then you can go click on the other swatches to check. You see it says small appliance is a microwave. Small appliance is a microwave. Once you've completed this, you want to save. Okay, you'll get a little win notification saying your package has been saved. You hit OK. All right. So now, that quickly, that easily, we have made it so this oven will work in game in a university. And we'll test it out now to show you. So you want to load your game. I'll have to exit my game first. Once your game is saved and you've exited and you want to put the oven into your game, so you want to go to Electronic Arts, which is most likely in your document section. You want to open your Sims 4 folder. You want to go into Mods, and I have all kinds of mods in my game. So you want to pick a folder that you're going to put yours in if you want to call it um, Uni Add-ons, whatever you want to call it, um, cheats, hacks, functional stoves, whatever. I'm just going to throw it in here right now into my own folder. All right, now that it's in here, we can start the game. So we're going to hit play, and we're going to load up the game, and then we're going to test the functionality of the stove in a university dorm room so that your Sims can actually eat, cook and eat food that isn't made in a microwave. We're going to go into a university dorm room. We'll just click this pre-made family here. We're just going to load up their dorm. You're going to notice that you can't go into build mode, all right? And so if you don't know how to enable that, you're just going to hit Control Shift C, 
and we're going to hit B, B dot, enable, free, build all together, and we're going to hit enter, and since a free build mode is enabled, hit escape to exit that window, click on build mode, right. we're going to find an area where they cook food, doesn't look like they have like even a little eating area here, so we're just going to drop the stove down with a refrigerator in this case, right, because... We want to test this. We'll just put it over here. So you want to go to appliances. Get yourself a little refrigerator. Okay. Put that down. Now you will not find this the oven that you the stove that you edited in stoves anymore. It'll now be in small appliances. And it's right here. The Yum Cooker for four hundred dollars. And you'll see it's got the little um, wrench on it as a custom item. All right, we're gonna click that and we're gonna put it down. And then you have to have a countertop. And we will just put this down. And we'll put an extra just in case. All right, and you'll notice in requirements, it says forbidden, outdoor cooking and stoves. We have a stove down and we did not get an explanation point. You'll notice if you put down, you go back to appliances and you go into stoves and you put the exact same one down you instantly will get an explanation point forbidden. Okay, so we'll delete that one. We'll go into live mode. We'll take this in and we'll have her come over here. She has to click on the oven. You can't click on the refrigerator as you see. You can't serve, right? But if she clicks on the oven, she can serve dinner. And we'll just have her make um, some mac and cheese. She's using the stove. She's acquired a cooking skill. And we did not have to install any kind of mod. We only had to change the tags on an already pre-built Maxis item. And you can do this with the grills, with anything. You just want to go into tags and you want to edit the current tags from stove or grill and make it a small appliance like a microwave. And she has made mac and cheese. Very poor mac and cheese, but mac and cheese. Okay. So that quickly we just edited our item. And we can do this for any other stove or a um, cooking utensil in there to make them work in university. Alright, I hope you found this video helpful. And thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.